Hello guys, welcome back to Guterio Tips. In this video, I'm gonna share you or I'm gonna talk about the kick battery drain and so charging issues in the OnePlus devices. So what to do if there is these kind of issues in a device. So let's get started. So the first one is make sure the Wi-Fi is not enabled in such a way that we all we help our friends when they need data, right? We used to give the uh, Wi-Fi. So make sure the particular Wi-Fi which is given by us is not being shared by many people. If it is being shared by many people, then it's definitely going to drain our battery. At the same time, there will be an issue with the battery. So it will be complete because many number of people are using. So obviously, theoretically or practically, that's going to drain our battery. So make sure that no many number of Wi-Fi is being connected from in, you know, from your device. So make sure it has been in that limit. So only one or two people are using at a time. So you can do that. So be a lot of these issues. This is a very important problem in most of the cases. Most of the people used to get like, you know, they don't take much care about this. And they end up in all the day they complain, the battery is draining so fast and it's take a lot of time to get charged. So what you have to do is keep in mind that the data as well as the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth is not being enabled when you are not using it. For example, let me enable the Bluetooth. The data is being enabled. Let me off it. Let me go for the Wi-Fi. So these things are enabled. So now there is no use for me to enable these things because I don't I don't use this. So if it, you are not using the particular Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or even the data, what you have to do is just disable it and only switch on or only make it enable when you need it. So this will definitely gonna help your battery and as well as sometimes you know even people complain while charging it get very slow. So what is the reason is it is already being used. The charge what you have to give with your particular time it's been already been used. So make sure there is no Bluetooth as well as the Wi-Fi and the data is enabled all the time and disable it when you're not using it. So I'll tell you when it comes to here there are two things which we have to really take care of. The first one update all the apps in your device which as I already mentioned make sure all the apps are updated if the particular app is not being updated there is a very high chance the particular app is going to drain your battery so and also if there is an issue with the batteries i mean the very slow charging or the battery is getting drained so fast what you have to do is go to settings and now go for the battery section and now check from here which apps is using your battery the most for example there might be a very high chance some apps will be using the battery most so if the particular app is using very excess amount of battery i better suggest to uninstall the particular app and download it once again and do this because you know the particular app which is being tracking out or which is one eating your battery might be not updated so once you uninstall it and once you go for and a new up new downloading what happens is the app might be particularly updated or default so you can use this so make sure there is no apps are using or eating your excess battery so in order to make it go for the battery usage section area and make sure itself which one is which one is having problem and if there is any kind of problem delete the particular app and you can find a solution for this now even still you are facing the issues what you have to do is here comes a simple technique to make sure there is an issue if there is an issue this will help you gonna find so what you have to do is use any other power plug for the charging so you might be using a particular power plug in your particular bedroom or in your office desk or whatever the area it might be so there are some kind of issues so make sure there is no issue with the power plug so in order to make sure use any other power plug and make sure this charging is taken pro properly which means the charging is more faster so this is going to help to find this and also when it comes to the power bank we all use power bank nowadays because we used to be traveled a lot we have a busy schedule so we use our phone so there is no way that's going to have the battery or it has been completely we can use it so what you have to do is we need to charge it again and again so we use power banks so make sure not to use a power bank that doesn't have a rating similar to that of your phone so if it is less than that you're not supposed to use that if it is higher than that you're not supposed to use that. make sure you use the correct rated power banks to your particular device so if you're using any kind of higher what happens is that's going to definitely make an issue with the battery and that's going to completely drain up and you ended up in slow charging so always be alert when it's selecting the power banks so here comes the very most important part so what happens is we complain all the time there is no the charging is very slow in my device my battery used to get eased up very fast 
So sometimes there is a very high possible chance there might be an issue with the charger as well as the cable of your respective device. So if there is any kind of issues with the charger as well as the cable, there will be issue while charging. So make sure there is no error on or there is no any kind of malfunctions is happening on the charger as well as the cable. Try with any other devices, I mean the same devices, charger as well as the cable and make sure there is no issues with the charger as well as the cable. So if there is an issue, you better meet an expert and, uh, and replace both this and the things will be fine. We get tons of notifications daily, right? We get a lot of notifications. So the probably the all notifications from the app, it doesn't matter to us. So what you have to do is disable them as they consume an extra battery while running in the background. So this might help us to protect our battery. The very important one, not the last but the least. So what you have to hear is very important one. What you have to do is we use a lot of apps. We use our device, even the OnePlus 6, but any kind of device we use it. So the OnePlus devices we use a lot, but at the same time we'll be using many apps, we'll be opening it and we might forget to close it. So make sure there is no apps running in the background. So if the apps are running in the background, then it should not be like this. So in my case, let me show you, okay, there are tons of apps which has been running in the background. So this will definitely gonna eat my battery and if I'm charging with the same, this charging will be very less because it's been already utilized. So what you have to do is if there are tons of apps which being used or which being open in the background, you better clear it. So this is going to help to save your battery as well as you know, there is you know, there are kind of no issues with the charge. So if there are tons of apps, just close it. So the last, the most important one, the very most important one, go to settings. Now check if there is any update is available. So here the update is if there is any kind of update it's available update it i'm not promising but this is definitely going to help your battery issues and the charging issues because you know if the system is not being because some kind of will be due to some bugs you know they're going to be a very high probability that the charging or the particular you know the battery going to have a lot of troubles so make sure your system is updated and it is latest so that's all about when it comes to the issues regarding the oneplus device so don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for further notification and you can ask any kind of questions in the comment sessions we our get your tips will try to get back to you so that's all about it this is shahin signing off from get your tips